I'm being so hyper and excited today. But let's move on, guys. Let's get serious. Um, welcome back to my channel, guys. If you're new here, my name is Mayowa, and my channel is totally all about walking you through or teaching you how to make beautiful clothes for yourself. Um, now, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, you're wrong. So please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up sign while you're there. You can also turn on the little notifications bell right beside the subscribe button just so you can get notified when I post new videos. Now today I'm going to be walking you through how to make this beautiful pleated circle shorts because I feel like showing you how to do something a little bit more advanced today. Although it's not very difficult to make so don't get scared all you have to do is to just follow these um, easy steps I'll, I'll be showing you on how to make this beautiful pleated circle shirts so let's get this train moving <laughs> So first things first, you are going to be needing your basic trouser pattern. So you mark out the length, that is the length of your shorts, where you want your shorts to get to. And then you trace your shorts pattern out of your trouser pattern. And then you are going to have something like this. The length of my own shorts is like um, 17 inches. But excuse my, um, my shorts pattern. I have both my front and back pattern piece drafted in this one pattern but then this is the i'm going to be starting with my front pattern but this is the outline of my front pattern and this is the back so i'll, I'll be starting with the front so i'm just going to outline my front pattern for you so the red outline is my front pattern while the black outline this is my back pattern so I'm going to be starting with my front pattern so the first thing I'm going to be doing is to um, close my the dart of my front pattern so I'm just going to close my darts here then I'm going to open the dart line here I'm going to open it up but before then let me um, remove this so uh, it's going to be easy for me to cut it open so i'm just going to cut it open up to here yeah. i'm just going to close back my darts then i'm going to place another piece of paper underneath this and i'm going to spread it out so i'm going to spread it out as much as my i want you can also spread yours out as much as you as you want so depending on how wide you want the circle to be so i've spread this open by seven and a half inches you can go wider than that depends on you so i'm just going to cut this out and then that is my circle shot so i've opened it up wider let's do this is 11 inches so you can go wider it just depends on you and how wide you want your pattern to be how, how wide you want your shirt to be rather so i'm going to cut this open i'm going to cut it out rather so i'm really going to connect a line from here to this point or rather to this point So this extra part is going to serve as my allowance. I'm just going to measure out one inch here. So it's going to serve as my the allowance of my shirt. Now let's move on to the to the next part. So I'm going to place this pattern on another piece of paper and then I'm going to trace my front pattern like this altered pattern. I'm going to trace it out on the new on a new paper just so that you can see it. Then I'll move on to showing you how to add your pleats to this shirt. So this is my new front pattern. This is the new front pattern. So this is the circle pattern. 
so now if you are if you just feel like you don't need the pleats you can go ahead like using this pattern like this then you do this exact same thing we've done for the front piece here you do the exact same piece for the back piece now but then if you feel like you want to like add the pleats to it let's move on with that now for the pleats this is the dark line we cut open earlier when we were trying to slash and spread to get this circle pattern so for the pleats i'm going to like cut open this line again i'm just going to name this place a i'm going to name this d so this is my front pattern so i'm going to cut this open and then i'm going to place another piece of paper also underneath this cut open all till the end Now the piece of paper you are placing underneath it can be as wide as you want so but for me i've already used like six inches margin so this is my uh extra space for the piece so i'm just going to add my allowances and then i'm going to cut all of this out so you will see the final uh, outcome that's all on how to make this pattern so this um paper the extra this extra paper i added in between is going to stand for the space for my pleats now i'm not going to be putting adding pleats to the back of my my uh shorts i'm not going to be adding pleats to the back of my shorts so i'm not going to be adding any extra paper to the back uh in between my the back in between my back pattern rather so for the back pattern you are going to stop if you are following what i'm doing for the back pattern you are going to stop at um the circle pattern i i showed you earlier without this paper in between but if you want to add your own if you want to add pleats to the back of your uh to the back to your back pattern like to the back of your shorts you have to do like you have to add this extra paper in between your back pattern so but for me i'm not going to be adding this i'm going to be using it uh, just the circle pattern i made earlier i'm going to be using it for my uh back piece so i'm just going to cut all of this out of my fabric and then i'll show you what it looks like on the fabric so you already know that you add your allowances you add half inch half inch allowance to the waist one inch to the side one inch at the hem and then half inch here at the crotch then half inch also here and that's that and that's now this is my front pattern i already cut it out of my fabric so um you're going to have to notch this part these two parts here just so that when you are sewing you know where this extra margin is so when you are sewing all you have to do is to pleat it like this and you bring point B down here you bring point B down to A then you iron it flat and this part is going to you can iron this part too so this is what it's going to look like Sha. so that's that for the front piece and this is my back piece like i mentioned earlier there's no margin for there's no margin for uh for pleats you can see that i didn't put any margin and if you look at the hem here they are not exactly the same size but when i pleat this back they will become like the same size at the hem so that's that for that once you are and this is my band for the shirt so all you have to do is to cut interfacing for this iron it flat and then i'll be ready to sew now i'm not go exactly going to show you how to sew this if you want a detailed tutorial on how to like sew a short or trouser piece please check out my uh video tutorial on how to sew uh, a jumpsuit and my video tutorial on how to uh, sew a culotte shirt so the video should be right on top of your screen but if it's not there uh, please check the description box down below
and that's that for today's tutorial so once you start sewing before you like join this parts together you first you have to like sew this like sew the um cleats down and iron flat i hope you understand what i just explained and that's that for that so i'll be showing you what this shot is going to look like right now And that's it for today's tutorial guys you can see it's not that difficult or <laughs> is it <laughs> well if you have any questions any questions at all concerning today's tutorial please type it in the comment section and i'll reply as soon as i can <laughs> now um if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up sign you can also turn on the notifications bell right beside the subscribe button just so you can get notified when i post new videos um see you in my next video bye <laughs>